Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force, I'm Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Soviet Sukhoi Su-24M NATO reporting named Fencer. It's a supersonic tactical bomber developed in the Soviet Union. And before we get into the video, I'd like to thank Bean for actually making this video possible. It's actually his second commission and his message is thank pizza for this build. And thanks to everyone who sent in their support after I made the video asking for help because we do need help and there's a lot of new videos that's going to be on the way. But yeah, let's go take a look at the Soviet Su-24M. So this entered service in 1974 during the Cold War. It remains in service with the Russian Air Force, the Ukrainian Air Force, and other air forces. Approximately 1,400 of these were built. And this is one of the aircraft being used in the Russo-Ukrainian War that's still going on to this day. It's used on both sides, but we are going to be building the Soviet Union one. The cockpit can hold a crew of two that are sitting side by side. There's also two versions that I'm going to be showing you today. So this one right here with the spread out wings, this is 16 degrees for takeoff and landing. And then we have the 69 degrees to go, you know, supersonic really fast. And this aircraft can also do like, a, I think a 45 or something in between these two angles. That's another thing you can do. But I just want to stick with these two for the sake of simplicity. This aircraft is equipped with two external fuel drop tanks. They're actually really long um, right on these pylons that sort of stick out from the engine. Uh, then we have this emblem here. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Someone said on Reddit, it's like the Sukhoi Experimental Bureau logo or something. We got a number here on the side, another weapons pylon. And I was curious on like how the weapons pylon actually stayed in place because it's like rotating the entire wing. So wouldn't the pylon be facing like diagonal, but apparently these things are on a swivel so they can rotate. Uh, based on which direction they're on. Yeah, just lots of various details, even the Soviet Red Star on the wings and the tail and also on the underside of wing. The underbelly is painted in white. Here's a look at the back for the afterburners. I don't know, can you call them afterburners? <laughs> There's like little fins at the bottom here and there also is a pair of wheels right here, another pair of wheels. So it's not just one wheel, one wheel. It's actually two and two. But yeah, it's a pretty cool aircraft. I've been wanting to build a Su-24M for quite a long time, although it never really won any popularity polls. Thank you again to Bean for making this video possible. And if you guys are interested in commissioning, check out my video link in the description and it tells you all about it because YouTube does not really pay that much for me to make uh, tutorial videos. It's really only supported by you guys. Uh, but yeah, let's get started on the build. So first off, we're gonna grab some materials. We're gonna take out a black wool, stone button, deep slate brick wall, a spruce fence gate, smooth quartz block and stairs and slab and rod, an iron trap door. All right, so first we'll make that landing gear. So we're gonna place black wool down, stone button to the side, deep slate brick wall, two blocks tall, an iron trap door in the front of this, a spruce fence gate in the back of this, open that up. Then we'll add in smooth quartz block, two blocks long. Upside down, smooth quartz stairs. And then two smooth quartz slabs. And then I'll turn off my shaders just so you guys can see. Shaders are really hard with like white textures for some reason. Um, so we're going to add in snow and this is going to be five layers tall. So one, two, three, four, five. And the next one, we're going to make it a little bit taller. Yeah, this one's six, and the next one's going to be seven. So easy way to tell is just the F3 tells you which layer it is. And then we'll add in smooth quartz block. We'll make an L shape like this. Smooth quartz stairs right here. Smooth quartz slab. And then two iron trap doors. And then we'll add in snow. This one is three layers tall. One, two, three. Then we'll add in smooth quartz slap at the tip and we'll need our end rods so our end rods they're going to be um well i'm going to place a block temporarily so we can add them like back to back like this and i might actually have to build the first one just so it makes sense yeah so it should be looking like that and next we'll add in a stone block here a polished black stone brick slab here black concrete two blocks long Stone button here and here, another one going the other way there. And then stone block will make it five blocks long. One, two, three, four, five. 
Then we're going to add in a lever. A skip a block, one there, facing the back. A heavy weighted pressure plate. And a black stone button. Then when there will be four stone slabs. One, two, three, four. And then two polished andesite stairs facing one direction. And then two stone slabs. One, two. And then a smooth quartz slab. Then we'll skip a block and add in a smooth quartz block. And then we're going to go diagonally up, smooth quartz slab, then block, diagonally up, smooth quartz slab, block, diagonally up, smooth quartz slab, block. And then lastly, it's going to be um, an L shape that's upside down, apparently, a stone like that. Then uh, two smooth quartz blocks. And then smooth quartz stairs in the front. On top is going to be a light gray carpet and an iron trap door. Then we're going to add in a stone block here, red concrete. Then make an L shape of stone here and make it return back to the front of this fin, just like that. And then we'll add in anisite walls, make like this W shape, kind of like that. Back, this is going to be a skeleton skull. Just like that. And let's add in a birch button to the side of this. The next we're going to add in a polished blackstone wall and then polished blackstone brick behind it. Smooth quartz slab underneath this and then smooth quartz block. Then we're going to extend this smooth quartz block so it reaches all the way to the front. Just like this. And then back over here, we'll add in a stone block here. And then we'll add in snow layer, six layers tall. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll add in another skeleton skull based in the back right here. All right, next we'll go down here in the back, add another smooth quartz slab. Stone block, we're going to make it seven blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then smooth quartz block. Then we'll go in the front here and add in two smooth quartz slabs. And then four stone stairs upside down and then two stone blocks. And then smooth quartz block, make it go all the way towards the back. Inside this, we're going to add in three daylight detectors, make them all blue. And then stone slab here. Um, and we're going to extend it so it reaches to that weighted pressure plate on the side of that. Just like this. Then we'll add in a stone stairs, two blocks long here. And then polished black stone brick stairs. Two of them, I'm going to corner the front one like that. Stone block underneath this. And we're going to extend the stone so it goes, I guess, all the way on top of this uh, smooth quartz slab. Yeah, we're just going to extend it all the way to the front. Just like that. And then we'll also add in a snow layer right there. Next up, we'll go um, in the back, we'll add in light gray glass panes, make it four blocks long like that. Then we're going to add in um, polished blackstone stairs upside down facing inwards. And then a dark oak trap door like that. All right, so next up, let's go right over here, add in polished blackstone brick wall, two blocks tall dark wall here and then make an L shape of anisite wall like that and a stone block here on top we'll add in two white carpets like this and underneath we'll add in two iron trap doors like that then we'll go to the back of this add an iron trap door to the side of this then we'll add in the back in the back we'll add in two light gray stained glass panes Diagonally another two here and then andesite wall on the top layer as well and we're going to extend it so it goes all the way to this iron trap door. Then I'm going to add in stone block on the top layer of this top row. The bottom is going to be andesite wall. Just like that. Then we'll add in um, another white carpet right here. And then we'll add in a light gray carpet after that trap door and then light gray carpets on top of this edge. Um, just like that. 
All right, next we'll go down underneath here, skip a lock, add in a birch button like that underneath. We'll also add in a mangrove button to the side of this. And then we'll add in white, I mean, light gray carpets going all the way across to meet up with the trap door that will go down here. And we're going to line up the block ahead of this bump here. Put a andesite wall. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick walls. And we're going to make that two blocks along like this. And actually make an L shape like that. And then we'll add in a black wall uh, with a stone button to the side of that. I'm going to add in a wither skeleton skull here. And then a polished black stone brick slab like that. Then we'll go in the back of this and we're gonna line up right where this carpet is, go underneath, add an iron trap door, skip two blocks and add in two iron trap doors, and then two smooth quartz slabs right there in the gap. All right, next up, let's go down here and we're going to add in six iron trap doors. So one, two, three, four, five, six like that. I'm gonna add in four in the back of this. And skip a block to here, the very edge. Then on top, we're going to add in white carpet. We're going to add two on a diagonal, two blocks wide here, and the rest of it's going to be light gray carpets. Cross just like this. All right, next we'll add in smooth quartz slab, and we're going to make it two blocks long here. Then we'll add in diorite wall, make it three blocks long here. We'll add in stone slab here, two blocks wide, and then a two by three of stone slabs in like that. Then we'll add in a light gray carpet. We're gonna go diagonally, two here, diagonally one, diagonally back the other way. And we're gonna add white carpets on the very edge of this, another one right here, and light gray carpet right there. We'll go down here, add in smooth quartz block, make it five blocks long. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll add in iron trap doors underneath. And then we'll extend it by one in the front and then two in the back. All right, apparently I put this uh, on the upper one, should be the bottom. Then we'll add in six snow layers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. In the back, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then we'll add in upside down smooth court stairs with birch signs to the sides of it. And in the front, it's going to be a smooth quartz slab in just like that. All right, then we're going to go to the back in between these fins at the front. Just add in a birch button like that on the middle. All right, so this is where we're going to split off the tutorial. I'm going to make another copy of this. And first, we're going to be making uh, this wide spread out uh, wings and then we're going to make the swept wings. All right, so to make the wide wings, let's go in the back of this, add an iron trap door. And I'm going to make it 10 blocks long, back of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll make the tip uh, three blocks long here. And we'll add in a mangrove trap door. And then we'll add over here, it's going to be a stone slab, two blocks long. Iron trap door right here. And then um, iron trap door extend it all the way to that mangrove. Then we'll add in two iron trap doors here, actually just to make it go all the way across. And then we'll skip to add another two iron trap doors. And there's actually going to be an anisite wall. We might have to punch in a hole here two blocks long and then iron trap door right here and then two more iron trap doors here and I think we are good and then we'll add in a white carpet on the tip the very edge all the way across then a red carpet on top of that mangrove and then a light gray carpet on all these trap doors and walls right on the wing and we're just gonna be um filling in that area. I'll leave like this part alone because I do want to have that separation. But after that, we're going to copy everything we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, it should be looking like this. And that's how you make full with uh, Suit24M.
Now let's move on to the swept back wing. All right, so for the swept back wing, we'll add in a stone slab right here, add that trap door, and we'll add in a um, white carpet. So we delete this one, add two more here, so it's like three. And then we'll add an iron trap door to the side of this. I'm gonna make it seven blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we'll add in three iron trap doors here, so one, two, three, just like that. Then we'll add in a mangrove trap door to the side of this. And then make uh, two iron trap doors here, and then two andesite walls. Then we'll add an iron trap door. Get five blocks long here. Another iron trap door here. An iron trap door to the side of this. Added red carpet on top of the mangrove, and then white carpet along the edge. It's going to be two here, and then I guess another two, and then three, and then one. While the rest is going to be light gray carpets right on top of all these exposed areas. So it looks like that, and that is it for this side. So copy everything we did here and build the other half. So once we're done with that, that's pretty much it on how to build both versions of the Su-24M in Minecraft. Thanks again to Bean for commissioning this build. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel and sponsoring videos, check out the link in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.